Hey guys, how's it going? Dollar Venture Investing here. As you can tell, I'm in a little bit different of an environment. I've just been moving, uh, so that's why I haven't made a video for you guys in a while, so I apologize for that. Things have been a little bit crazy, but I wanted to give you guys an update on what's happening in the market. I mean, things are kind of being all over the place. The last couple days have been relatively subdued. Uh, the market today was pretty subdued. Yesterday was about the same, uh, but then the day before we saw over a thousand point gain in the Dow, and that's by, I believe by digit, like single digit numbers, the highest on record that it's ever done in one day, not in terms of percentage, but in terms of the actual um, point gain. So that's insane. So it was like, what's going on? The market is so volatile right now. And I know you guys are probably sure, um, quite aware of a lot of this stuff, what's going on, but there's a couple things that you might know, not know that were happening in the market. You know, one of the biggest drivers is the Fed, right? Um, and also this geopolitical risk that we're talking about. But Powell came on about a week ago uh, when they raised in late December here, about another quarter uh, percentage point um, interest rate rise, and that's what really spooked the market. But there were some things that he said when I actually watched the whole uh, conference was, uh, they were very positive things, and that's why that they're raising interest rates, right? I mean, you can't have low interest rates forever, especially when you have a very strong economy. So it's almost kind of like a cooling measure, you know? Uh, part of the, the thought process is, Interest rates rise, it slows, it cools the economy because businesses can't, you know, t borrow as much money and invest, things like that. But what he was saying was unemployment is down again, as we all know. I think we're at record unemployment levels being at, in terms of lowness, right? Uh, wages were up. So these were things that he said. So, you know, one of the things that concerned markets a bit was the somewhat subdued conditions around the world. I think that was some language that actually spooked the market. Um, and then also next year, he's saying it's likely two more instead of three, which would be a good thing because whenever they raise the rates, it seems to spook the market. But that was probably taken as negative as well because we don't know what's going to happen next year. Maybe it's not going to be as strong as they think. So it's like anything that the Fed can do, Powell does, it's wrong. You know, it's kind of, we're like kind of like in a market where you could say anything, it's, it's bad. It's just, we're just in such a bad situation right now in terms of the market pulling back and people being pessimist, pessimistic, but yeah, I don't really think that we're in a bad situation right now. We might see a recession next year's possibility, and we're already technically in, you know, um, you know, somewhat kind of a recession, if you want to say we're, I mean, not in terms of GDP growth, but in terms of what the stock market's saying, we're down over that 20% or something like that. So he also mentioned that things can change. Uh, so, you know, it's fluid. It, it's not always set in stone, which he's right, right? But I mean, that I think spooked people as well. So the question is, you know, why did we see this thousand point gain in the market the other day? Well, there was a couple different reasons, and I think there are a couple different reasons of things that I've been reiterating to you guys is the strengthness that's, that these companies actually still have, like Apple, all the big retailers, especially online retailers, and people are just discounting that, and there's just kind of widespread panic for no reason. So, you know, the first one that kind of drove the markets up was Trump's remarks. He was basically saying, now's a good time. He seems to almost... Uh, move the market a lot with his tweets. Uh, he's saying now's a good time to buy stocks, which is right, I think. Um, but I think some people might have read that into something like um, he knows something that we don't know or, you know, he's going to do something with the Fed or he has some kind of pull or leverage. Who knows, right? But the biggest one for me was holiday shopping. And this doesn't, you know, this doesn't surprise me at all. Um, so retail shopping was up all, over 5%. So we're talking about this same time period last year, right? E-commerce, which we've seen e-commerce just explode over the last couple of years. I mean, it's just like every year it's up, 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 up. Over 19% it's up this year. So people are worried about the economy slowing down. Over 19% up. Now, department stores sales were down, but that's to be expected. I mean, we're, we're migrating to online shopping still, right? And this is this continued shift that I wrote down here. I think that this is a lot what a lot of the old timers are not understanding. I mean, they might not be able to see this kind of growth. It might be, oh, we see some department store stores failing, things like that. Um, but they don't realize the underlying strength in e-commerce and, and it's gonna be such a huge drive and it's gonna to continue to build and build and build. And with this, we saw um, record numbers in terms of like FedEx, you know, the delivery companies, UPS, it was all just so positive. And I think that's what that thousand point game was. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna, you know, stay the last couple of two days were, you know, somewhat subdued. I don't know if the worst is behind us right now, but, I think that was a good indication of what what's to come. And like I said, of some of the other companies that I've talked about, like Apple being such an extremely cheap buy right now, and I think I'm probably going to buy a little bit more. Um, 
you know, just you wait until we see the next couple quarters next year when we see these numbers coming down out. I think they're going to be much stronger than what people think. And we have so much concern right now with this geopolitical risk, like the trade war in China and stuff like that. But that's eventually going to blow over. I know it will. If you look at, you know, people are a little concerned what Trump's going to do. That's right out of his playbook. It's like the art of the deal sort of thing, right? So that's definitely a, a huge risk. But I don't think it's as much a risk as uh, people make it out to be. And we're still seeing this, you know, huge amount of strength. And even the Fed itself is very bullish on the economy. And interest rates are really not that high. Even if they go a couple more percentages, is that really going to make a difference? If you look into history, the correlation between interest rate rises and the stock market going down, it's not a really huge correlation. There is, you know, some correlation there, but that's not enough. That's not enough to drive the market down, guys, right? So I think we're going to see this, this strength. Um, it's been kind of boring lately because it's just been like every day the stock market down and down and down, but there's some really good bargains out there. And I'm keeping my open. Like I said, I think I'm going to add a little bit of Apple. Um, I'm looking at a couple other companies as well um, if they drop down low enough. So as I said to you guys before, like the other video, and I'll put a link right in the left-hand corner or the right, your guys' right-hand corner uh, right now about what was actually going on in the market. Those are the reasons why the market's going down. That's what's happening. But you guys need to just to hold the course if you're a long-term investor and don't let any of the short-term stuff bother you. But I thought I'd make a video letting you know these uh, statistics that came out that I found were pretty interesting and uh, will be very interesting to see how the numbers play out early next year. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.